Thank you so much everybody for watching. I recently hit 200,000 subscribers on this channel, which got me thinking, what does the sound of 200,000 notes played within the span of six seconds sound like? Well, apparently they make the sound of the first eight bars of John Coltrane's solo on Giant Steps. When you zoom into the piano roll, you see thousands and thousands of notes, each belonging to a smaller iteration of the solo. This is an example of something I call a musical fractal, a demonstration of the polyrhythmic nature of melody. If you want to learn more about the math and technique of creating your own fractals, definitely watch my video on fractals where I demonstrate the whole process on a simple melody. Psalm. It's basically an elaborate shit post, but I think it does a decent job of demonstrating an idea that every crusty old jazz man will tell you. Melody is like the same thing as rhythm, man. The song Giant Steps was composed as an improvisatory vehicle for John Coltrane to explore something called multitonic systems. Key centers built in major thirds equal distances from one another. We'll take short clips of his recorded solo, and then we'll speed those clips up 4,000 times their original speed. These MIDI clips will be going by so fast that your ear will not be able to perceive the individual notes and just hear the whole thing as a waveform. This is similar to how a wavetable synthesizer works. Because the MIDI clips are all of the same melody, they will have the necessary periodicity to produce pitch when they're sped up. If they were all different melodies, it would just sound like noise. When the sound of the clips hits your inner ear, a structure called the basilar membrane will vibrate inside sympathy with the total number of clips hitting it per second. Tiny hair cells in the inner ear will convert that acoustic information into electrical impulses that the brain can then interpret, just the same way that a microphone will pick up sound waves to be either amplified or recorded. What happens next, I think, is pretty incredible and also not that well understood. Our ears can do math really quickly. I'm afraid we need to use math. Let's take these two sine waves. One vibrates at 520 times per second and the other vibrates at 650 times per second. Your ear automatically calculates the ratio between the two of them as five to four. This is the interval of a major third. Because five against four is a simple ratio with simple integers, our ear accepts it as a pleasing sound. Our ears automatically do what our conscious brains might have to labor over, quickly calculate ratios between two separate pitches. And boy, can they do it quickly. Thousands of notes per second can be processed by the brain with the right sort of math behind it. This particular musical fractal, the one based on the John Coltrane solo, is a little bit harder to put together than the one for All Star, just because it uses all 12 notes of the chromatic scale. We'll need to find whole integer ratios that relate back to a root for all 12 notes of the chromatic scale in order to find the harmonic polyrhythms. Definitely check out this video if you haven't already. Unfortunately, unlike last time, we cannot just simply look up this information on Wikipedia. Now I'm sure there's some fancy math that we could do to calculate those integers, but the Wikipedia list that we were referencing earlier already has them. The Wikipedia list that I referenced earlier was just looking at seven notes of the just intonated diatonic scale, not the chromatic scale. This problem definitely stumped me because, well, I'm a musician and not a mathematician. Refreshing myself on basic algebra on Khan Academy so only got times. me so far. But then I thought, well, maybe the answer lies in the harmonic series. Well. Maybe the answer lies in the harmonic series. The harmonic series, also known as the overtone series, is based upon simple multiples of a fundamental. So if your fundamental is 100 hertz, the second harmonic will be 200 hertz. The third harmonic will be 300 hertz. Just take whatever the frequency of a note is, multiply it by a number, and then you get that number harmonic. So easy, even a musician can do it. We hear all of the different harmonics as different pitches and intervals in relationship back to the root. Our brains process the differences between harmonics as musical intervals. The ratios between two of them create a harmonic interval. For example, the distance between the fifth harmonic and the fourth harmonic create a five to four ratio, or the ratio of a major third that we heard earlier. Major thirds are in our system of Western harmony, but other intervals aren't, like the distance between the seventh harmonic and the fourth harmonic. These intervals between notes get smaller and smaller as you go higher, but they never stop. 
The harmonic series, in theory, goes on into infinity. So if we just went up high enough, we could find all of the 12 notes of the chromatic scale and then apply it to our musical fractal. All we would need to know is just the numbers of these harmonics. And then those numbers are the total number of MIDI clips we'll need in order to create our chromatic giant steps solo. In trying to figure all this stuff out, I found an interesting paper by the bassoonist Johnny Reinhard, which proposes a system of tuning based upon eight octaves of the harmonic series all the way up to the 256th harmonic. It lists all of the unusual intervals you can create. Some of my favorites include the howling dominant, the hyper leading tone major seventh, and my personal favorite, the almost major sixth. You are so close, major sixth. You are so close. In all of this, though, we can find pretty close approximations of all 12 notes of the equal tempered system. I took these and then created this table of interval ratios. The numbers on the right are how many MIDI clips of the first eight measures of John Coltrane's solo on giant steps we will need to create and play back within a given amount of time so that when we speed it up, we'll hear that note. So if we play 57 MIDI clips within the span of 32 MIDI clips, it will one, create a crazy complicated 57 to 32 polyrhythm when we play it slowly, and two sound like a minor seventh when we speed it up. I went about manipulating large numbers of MIDI clips and recombining them based upon all of the individual notes from the John Coltrane solo. When we start speeding it up, you slowly start to hear the horror of notes recombine into the solo. This is a testament to your ear's incredible ability to perceive ratios between frequencies. <laughs> So our ear calculates these ratios almost instantly. But we don't really know why this occurs. We don't really seem to have that same ability when it comes to light frequencies, for example. Consider this versus this. Noticeable for sure, but not really jarring. But if you listen to this versus this, because our brains detect a more complicated ratio in the second example, our ears immediately perceive it as being more dissonant than the first example. This fine tuning of our ability to do Oral math is why the Coltrane fractal works. The range of human hearing is about 10 octaves, from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Certain marine mammals, like the harbor porpoise, can hear up to 180,000 hertz. Or if we wanted to program it, 180,000 Coltrane solos per second. Musical perception is a pretty amazing thing because of how unique it is to the physical makeup of our bodies. We literally make music for ourselves and how our brains perceive the world of sound around us. Maybe that's one of the reasons why music feels so personal. I do think that it's a nice gesture that sound recordings of human music were included on a golden vinyl sent out with the Voyager 1 spacecraft, but if there are aliens out there, their ears will need to be as fine-tuned as ours to the frequencies of the music that we create. Otherwise, to them, it will just be noise. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam Neely. I have a new video coming out every Monday. If you enjoy what I do, please consider joining my Patreon because it's through my patrons over at Patreon that I'm able to do this every week. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.